Jared Pullen Frono's photo. Dot com, and this is your... He likes the sleeveless look. <laughs> photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Printique and their Printique mobile app. You all know by now that I make all my big ass metal prints from Printique. What I didn't know is that they actually have an app to help make it much easier on the go to place orders from your stored images, but also make it much easier to sync your images directly from your smartphone. Now I was a little skeptical at first, but after downloading it and logging in, all of my stored photos were already there and it was super intuitive to quickly place an order for regular or wall mount prints. Now I suggest that you give it a shot because it's free for iOS and Android. And don't forget to let them know that the fro sent you. First up in a story that gets a whoop de doo Photographer Rankin used Facebook's Ray-Ban Stories, AKA Snapchat Spectacles knockoffs to photograph the cover of Hunger Magazine, whatever that is. And look at these results. Wow, I mean, wow. There's no words to describe this monumental feat. Best photo ever. Facebook tells Petapixel, the November issue brings to life what Ray-Ban stories can create in the hands and face of a professional photographer. Rankin's photography spotlights how the stylish smart frames capable of shooting a magazine cover can seamlessly fit into everyday life. Yeah, cause, cause everyday life is you shooting a cover for a magazine. No, Facebook, these don't seamlessly fit into anyone's life. I'm so getting a pair. And maybe you should stop trying to deflect from the damage that you've done to the world and maybe focus on that. Yep, you won't make money. If I had to guess, Rankin didn't call Facebook and say, I must shoot my next cover with those Ray-Bans. But actually, in fact, I do have a reenactment of a phone call that did happen. Hello? Who is this? Me, me, mo, mo, me. Oi, Mark Zuckerberg. Me, 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 me. What do you want? Me, 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 me. I won't wear your orphan glasses ever. Mine. Look, look out my window right now. It's a Facebook money dump truck. I'll use it on the next cover for Ongo Magazine. Goodbye, Zuckerberg. Best accent ever. Look, I, I love the money truck as much as the next guy. So good on him if Facebook actually paid him to do this because it's clearly a marketing stunt, at least in my opinion. So good on you for getting paid. But we all know this is Facebook trying really, really hard to not have yet another failed hardware project. Next up, if you're a landscape photographer who shoots in colder weather, you might be in need of this. Introducing the Hata Fog Belt, you know, to keep your lens from fogging on those cold nights. Fog, sir? Yeah, fog. This $20 USB-powered lens heater easily slips around lenses with a maximum girth of 11 centimeters, or 4.3 inches for those Americans looking down right now. When a girl says it's a good size. The belt itself measures five centimeters or two inches wide, so if you have a smaller lens, it might be hard to access the manual focus ring. But DP Review says, when using with longer lenses, it should be simple enough to slide back and forth along the barrel. You are doing excellent. To get it in just the right spot. Great work. To get heat, simply plug it into a USB charger and select between high, medium, and low heat settings. Just be careful not to burn yourself. Now I'd personally buy two of these. Two. One for my lens and one for my <coughs> My <coughs> always gets cold in the winter and this will help my <coughs> stay warm on those cold nights on the farm. But this belt does come with a warning. Just don't make it too tight because you don't want to choke your chicken. Anyway, if this interests you, you will be able to pick it up on Amazon at some point because currently it's unavailable. Let me jump in here real quick to announce the one and only Black Friday sale that I'm running for 2021. One. Ah. For the first time ever, we are discounting the FroPak Triple Play Bundle. That's right, you can get FroPak 1, 2, and 3 for 12% off when you use the code 12OFF at checkout over at fronosphoto.com slash FroPak3. And yes, if you pick them up now or you already own the presets, you will score extra entries into winning the Super Huger Mega Camera Giveaway where I'm giving one of you the chance to go on a shopping spree with $4,999 of my own own money at allenscamera.com. The code 12OFF will be deactivated in one week from this video. 
Next up, Nikon has announced a new compact and expensive Z lens in the way of a 28mm f2.8. The lens is only 1.7 inches in length and weighs in at only 5.46 ounces or 155 grams. So yeah, it's small and light. <coughs> Now, I think this is a must buy for beginner photographers with crop sensor Z cameras. Personally, I would have loved to have something like this when I went to Italy with the ZFC. It would have given me a 42 millimeter equivalent focal length on the cropped sensor. I think that 28 millimeters is a weird focal length on a full frame body, but it certainly will get the job done. Nikon says that this lens is ideal for detailed photos and videos of food, DIY crafts and fashion, as well as everyday snaps, group portraits, landscapes and cityscapes. So what you're saying is that it's meant for taking pictures. Duh. Got it. If you think this lens is for you, you can pre-order it right now for three hundred bucks. Continuing on with the final two stories, and yes, there's an extra couple stories this week. Ooh. Sony has announced that they are now the official imaging provider for Gannett's 250 outlets, including the USA Today. This means at some point, hundreds of visual journalists at these outlets will transition to Sony cameras, lenses, and accessories. Now I say at some point, because when you read the interview that DP Review conducted with Andrew Scott, the director of news gathering at USA Today, he said the transition to Sony will be a multi-year process due to a number of factors. Many of Gannett's newsrooms still have an extensive inventory of current equipment that is still functional, so it's going to be a process of working through that equipment as it's depreciated out. Now, when they do replace that gear, their goal is to supply each photographer with a minimum of two cameras and three zoom lenses, which does add up to a lot of gear down the road. We don't need roads. Scott goes on to say that Gannett is working as quickly as possible to make the transition. Obviously, a lot of that is dependent on budget, so that's part of my job, to advocate for resources so we can properly equip our staff across the country. What it sounds like is that there's a deal, but it doesn't mean there's money for the switch to happen today. But this is good news for Sony as they locked up the AP last year and these guys as of now. And finally, Canon has given away 120 400 millimeter f2.8 IS2 lenses. Yes, 120 of those lenses that used to sell for around $11,000 each. That's a lot of lettuce. So who was so lucky to get all of these lenses? Wasn't me. Two research teams are working together on something called Project Dragonfly. We've got a Yale research team and we got a Toronto research team. They're Canadian, by the way. Uh, Not sure how they came up with Project Dragonfly. Maybe dragonflies have a lot of eyes. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Anyway, the Dragonfly telephoto array is a telescope concept designed to capture images of extremely faint structures in the night sky. It's believed that the structures offer insight into the distribution and nature of dark matter. Basically, without getting all Neil deGrasse Tyson on your ass, Pluto not a planet? They strap a bunch of these Canon lenses together, connect them to a computer, point them towards the cosmos, and start gathering light. It's really trippy. It's actually pretty fascinating to see the results that they're getting. Especially on weed, man. And it's nice to see that Canon is supplying them with millions of dollars in glass. And there you have it, that's your photo news fix. This time around to check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared, PolandFronosPhoto.com. See ya.